My first guest tonight is a, uh, is a very funny comedian and actor. He'll be at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas from April 17th to the 19th. Please welcome Boston's very own Stephen Wright. <laughs> Stephen. Fine. I'm fine. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm real I'm good. Exhausted. I'm You're exhausted. You're exhausted from uh, trying to believe unbelievable things. <laughs> People keep telling me unbelievable things. They say, "Isn't that unbelievable?" I go, "I guess so." And I try to believe it. <laughs> and then I'm exhausted. <laughs> it just takes all the wind out of your sails. I have to be asleep by one in the morning every night. Otherwise, my dreams start whether I'm sleeping or not. <laughs> Which can make for some pretty strange conversation if I'm still awake. I thought those were your rickshaws. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That's what's going on. Uh-huh. Well, you excited? I mean, there's some uh, Easter's coming up. Do you, are you someone who gets excited about well, Easter? Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> are you uh, dreaming now? No. Or? <laughs> I mean, I know that it was, you know, a month ago, but you right. should be proud. I wasn't here a month ago, so I'm saying it now. You should be proud of your heritage. Are you proud of your heritage? Oh, yeah. It yeah. take a lot of pride in the fact that my people drink and act like idiots on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Something to be proud of. I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm uh, Scottish and Italian. That's a true. funny, funny combo. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's true. My father, father, he has a he has a half twin, and uh, <laughs> he, he also has a Siamese stepson. And I went to Scotland to, to see these people. I wanted to follow up on my heritage, and I found out where they lived, and I knocked on the door, and I said to them who I was and how we related and everything, and they just looked at me, and they just slammed the door right in my face. <laughs> but it's good to find your linkage. Good to find your linkage, you think? That's important. I don't even know if that's a sentence. <laughs> Let's assume it is. All right, we'll uh -huh. go with it. We'll go with it. Did you, uh, you used to work in a pet store? Is that no, right? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, that's not the right card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. If, if I had worked in a pet store, mm -hmm. like when I was 16, and, mm -hmm. they, and they had fired me for, like, maybe because they had three snakes in there, and one day I braided them. <laughs> like, that's what I would have said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I used to steal <laughs> rabbits around Easter. We'd shave the rabbits and dip them in boiling chocolate, you know? And, <laughs> and then it would harden in very action-like position. <laughs> I think that's what you're referring to by that thing there. <laughs> that fake index. <laughs> we won't yeah. go by that anymore, no, no, then. No, please. No! No, go ahead. All right. All right. You want to? If it's up to you. OK. I heard somewhere <laughs> <laughs> that you have an interesting way of, of spending your spare time. Well, I like to reflect on the history of the universe. And uh, <laughs> I'll rent a movie, perhaps, and... You know, when you read the movie, isn't it? It says, always says, this film has been modified to fit your television. Can you imagine if it wasn't? <laughs> You'd just see like a knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also studying ballet. I, uh, not in the uh -huh. city. I, up in Vermont, there's this conservatory of type stuff thing. And, uh, That's a well, they, sentence. Well, they yeah. have, <laughs> different arts and a lot of bluegrass music and 
ballet combination uh, of you, where you express yourself in a physical way to, to the music with, and be, try to be part of the music. And it's like, it's up in Vermont, and I danced to ballet in a field to, <laughs> to bluegrass. And, uh -huh. and in fact, I think I may have a clip. Do you have a clip? Yeah. Liz, uh, do us a favor. We're going to take a clip now. We'll take a look at uh, Stephen uh, with the Bluegrass Ballet in Vermont in the field. I could never do ballet in the city. That's why I went there. <laughs> you could be alone and you could do it. Yes. Do you, uh, do you like coming here to New York in the city? Do I you enjoy that? I love coming to New York. Yesterday was beautiful. It reminded me of spring in New York. <laughs> <laughs> and I love walking around, except I don't like, even whatever city I'm in, mean, I don't like it when people are behind me. I always like go off to the side and wait for everyone to pass me, which you, you can't really do in this city. <laughs> because you just don't get anywhere. And, uh, you gotta stay in one place? I like, I used to live here, I used to ask people directions in my own neighborhood. And then I would grade them. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're going on tour with the ballet, is no. that correct? You know, why don't you, you're always asking me these fake questions and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you the fake answers. Uh -huh. is, you want is something gonna real. End? Is this ever going to end? You Ask want me <laughs> 16 years of fake questions. <laughs> you want a real question? Ask me something. Ask okay, me here we go. Questions. Here we go. Look at me. Lock in. Do you agree with President Clinton's ban on assault rifles? The ban that he wants to impose. Do you agree with that? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I would say as a social implication of the variables in a worldwide scale as we know it, because we're part of the situation, I would go with it or not go with it, depending on my mood. Let's take another clip of that bluegrass dancing. Liz, will you show that, please? You always got that in your back pocket. All right, so what are you doing? You're going to Vegas when? Next week? You're there next week? Yeah, I think it's next week. I'm going whether it's next week or not. <laughs> He's going to go there and hope a job materializes. My, my father used to drive me there when I was little, and he used to make me play out in the sand about a mile outside the city. And he used to, he used to say, you're getting used to this now because you are going to play Las Vegas. And now I play there, and he, but he won't come to see me because he says he's already seen me play there. <laughs> Do you even gamble? Do you well, enjoy the gambling? I don't like to gamble. I don't find it interesting at all. I mean, once in a while, I'll play Russian roulette. <laughs> but uh, I, I would never gamble with money. <laughs> <laughs> Too important a commodity? <laughs> well... I think you'll be just fine. You're at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, April 17th, 18th, and the 19th. I should write this down. Don't worry, I'll have... <laughs> My people will give you all the okay. information. It's where I'm sending you. As Thank always, you uh, hysterical. Thanks so much for coming Thanks by. Thanks for having me. Stephen Wright, everybody. <laughs> Chief Marin's coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.